Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to swatch out the Pastel Dreams collection. So this is from Primo Marketing's Watercolor Confections. Um, let me zoom you out for a sec. This is what I've been working to collect each one of these sets. I got full set syndrome. If by now watching my channel we haven't caught on to that, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but each month I try to buy at least one. Um, What's funny is uh, I've had some happy mail with these as well, so others have kind of helped me collect a little quicker. Um, but this one I did by myself. So a while ago I was gifted the vintage pastel set, and I absolutely loved it. And then I found that they have pastel dreams. I was like, well, I can't pass that up. <laughs> so I had to, you know, well, I had to. Okay, look at the macaroons. I, I'm honestly thinking of cutting this out and taping it here. I mean, look how pretty that is. You can't blame me. So, pop her open. As usual, you have the, um, you know, little cakes in here. Now, I did leave some wrapped just so you could see how absolutely freaking adorable these are. I mean, these are like the definition of the cutest thing I've ever seen. So look at this. I mean, it's just like a work of art when you open their things. That said, I absolutely hate doing this and taking <laughs> these off. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and it's like, it's only a 12 count set, but guys, I have a major backlog of watercolor <laughs> stuff to unwrap and the thing holding me up is this. I almost feel like I need to hire my kids to pull these off. So it'll have the name and the number. Now, when you pull them off, you'll still have the number here. I really appreciate that Prima does that because, well, it's kind of um, impossible to know what you're working with when it goes away, you know? So uh, it's just, it's nice to see that someone does that. These do get very wiggly but you can tighten these back here. You can also do what is one of my favorite techniques, a little bit of hot glue underneath, pop it down, call it a day. Um, you can just hot glue down below and snap them all in because really I, you know, I keep them in the tray. Now, the only reason I haven't hot glued these mini trays is I'm gonna buy, once I get all of the watercolor confection series, I'm gonna buy one big, empty set and put them all in there so here is the swatch card now prima is driving me bonkers with these cards so they're artist grades so they should always have pigment information and light fast you know i'd also like to know their transparency rating granulation yada yada but i guess i'm nitpicking at that point um that said, they have two swatch charts that you'll get. So, for example, I just swatched the Odyssey edition. This is the card you get. It's cute. It fits right here. You could even tape it right there, but that's your mixing plate, so I wouldn't really do that. But it fits there. It's adorable. Um, that said, there's no pigment information here. And this set, I, I want to know what pigments are in this set. Like, I'm actually curious. And you see I created my own line to check opacity. This is still drying. <laughs> so. Now, then the other type is one that folds open. You get a larger swatch area. Thank you for that, Prima. You get your pigment and light fast and all that. I don't know why more aren't like this. Now, I don't know if this is the old style or the new style because I don't know the order of release just yet on their products. But I, I really like this one. Um, so I need to go on their website for my other brands and see if I can find the pigments. Now, these are pastels. You're going to have a lot of mixes. Um, and, you know, obviously one of the predominant colors you're going to see mixed in there would be a white of some sort. However, there are a surprising number of ones in here with pigments that are not. Um, so not everything is going to be a milky pastel. You think pastel and you think, oh, that thing has been mixed with white. It has to be. You don't have a ton of that going on here. Um, I mean, even lilac rain is, it's not mixed with white. Um, bumblebee is PY3. That's uh, this one here. So yeah, I found that to be incredibly interesting. And 
I really wish they would do more cards like this. And it is on watercolor paper. All their swatch cards are. So what I'm going to do is real quick before I pause this and pull these all off myself, I'm going to ugh, cut myself as I pull my X-Acto knife lid off. Holy moly. So here is my X-Acto knife. And this is how I get these bad boys off. You can do it whatever floats your boat way, but it is pretty paper. I take the knife, wiggle it so I can feel myself in between the, see how there's a gap between the cake and the pan? That's what we're wiggling for. Wiggle till you feel that gap and then drive it down. And then I just, oops, peel it back like that, grabbing the paper label and the plastic label. And, oh, it didn't work that time, but then you just slide it out and ta-da, life is easier. So that's what I'm gonna do really quick with these last ones, and then I will get it going for swatching. Okay, so I have um, removed the labels. Wasn't too too bad. Now I'm gonna do the part that that kills all the fun. Look at how gorgeous this palette is, by the way. Tell me that isn't the freaking prettiest palette you have ever seen. Oh, it's so luscious. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. All right, but here's the part that makes us all cry because this very clean, adorable palette is now going to get sprayed. I just use my Distress Sprayer. You got a hair, you know, sprayer, any sort of water bottle. I actually want to do a pipette. Um, so I'm waiting to get my hands on, like, a pipette that comes with, like, makeup or something. And use that because the pipette method is a lot easier. You can just, you know, dot it on there. This does make a, a bit of a mess, but I hate to break to you. Watercolor is very messy. So while those are moistening up, and apologies if you hate the word moist, <laughs> I'm going to take my Ohuhu marker. Not that end. Ugh. The one that doesn't want to open. And I am going to draw a line. Does it have to be perfect? No. What's the line for? Testing the opacity of a pastel set. Sounds ridiculous and probably thinking why even bother? It's pastel set. It's going to be very opaque. True. However, some of these are not mixed with white. They might not be as opaque as we think. Um, so it's just something I like to test. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. All right, I got my little um, paint puck off to the side here. I'm gonna move these off to the side. I'm just using a Transin water brush. Typically when I swatch, I don't swatch with my expensive brushes. Um, reason for that, I don't know how these paints are gonna react. Um, sometimes you get some metallic and glittery paints. You don't know how much that's gonna gunk up your brush. I am not taking a silver black velvet brush <laughs> and, you know, playing Russian roulette with that bad boy. So I tend to use my more affordable brushes. That said, these Transins are really good. They hold a lot of water. I'm quite impressed. So I'm using their number six round, which is quite beefy, but I like bigger brushes for swatching purposes. Just me. All right, let's zoom in and Let's swatch. I'm actually going to start down, no, oh, well, because I'm going to overlap it. I guess we're going to just start with the brown. I like a lot of water on my brush. And I am doing wet to dry, so I've got the brown here. You can do wet on wet. Uh, if wet on wet is what you tend to do the most, then do wet on wet. Um, I do a lot of wet on dry, especially for adult coloring books. So that's something I need to keep in mind. Um, but when I redo my swatch chart, I will actually swatch these both in wet on wet and wet on dry. And then I'll also be swatching uh, salting because salting is fun. I can't wait to see this one. Oh, look at that color. Oh, oh I got something in there. All right, 
lemonade must be a pink lemonade <laughs> it's very peachy very a peachy lemonade this does not look like lemonade now don't freak out if your line disappears at first that doesn't necessarily mean it's not opaque or it is translucent or whatever um, you got to wait till they dry because often that line comes back up well, that's a very pretty one and look at it, it's pure color um so yeah keep that one in mind always all right bumblebee another pure color gotta love that see even the brown the line is starting to come through up there some colors just lay down a little harsher oops i accidentally mixed that on my palette with another one so I'm pulling them off, putting them on the palette so that they get enough water mixed on them. Oh, that color is oh, so beautiful. It's really close to my favorite color. Let's see how Paradise looks. Just a little bit more minty. Now we're on to Pool Party. And these ones, I have noticed, they do um, wet pretty easily. Some paints really have to sit there for a while. These do not, so it's really nice. Ooh, I like that one too. Because I have like a couple paint sets that really have to sit there for like two minutes. <laughs> You're like, are you ready yet? All right, Lilac Rain. Yeah, not as opaque as I thought it was going to be. Still got some opacity, though, but, I mean, right off the bat, you can tell which ones are not opaque. I mean, look at that one. That black line, yeah. Citrus, um, and these are still wet. So, I don't think they're going to lift off this paper, though. This is a very thin watercolor paper. It'll reactivate, but I don't think it's going to lift very well. I'm just kind of testing it. There we go. Yep, it's lifting. And I can check the chocolate. If you ever want to do a lift test, just wet your brush with clean water and go over it and see. All right. So watercolor lesson number one. Once you swatch, you're actually not done unfortunately because these need to dry because how they look right now is not how they are going to look once dry and those are two very important things so i'm going to let this dry and i'll show you all i do when my palette is wet like this or messy i just wipe it off just wipe it off best time to do it is while you're waiting for things to dry because it comes right off like that and there you go so I'm going to get my little heat tool out, dry it up so that we can kind of see how these bad boys look, and I'll be right back. Okay, I used my little heat tool just to speed up the process. You can, of course, let them air dry, but <clears throat> we don't want to stay here for that long, do we? Okay, so here are the pastel dreams. <laughs> it always gets so nice and warped after you do the heat dry. Okay, most importantly, the brown is still opaque, but you do have a little bit of a line coming through. Um, everything else is very trans translucent. Um, a lot more translucent than I thought it would be, considering this is a pastel set. My vintage pastels definitely had a lot of white. They were a little chalkier, um, definitely more opaque than these. That said, I mean, these aren't chalky at all. They're very smooth. Because sometimes with a, um, you know, pastel color, you're going to get very chalky feel to it because of the white or a very chalky look. Um, but most importantly, they're incredibly opaque. And these are not, I mean, look at, look at all the lines you see. Uh, the only one that's really opaque is this brown. And even then, if I watered this down more, we would most definitely see that line but i mean great colors uh would i say pastel all the way no <laughs> um, this crimson really isn't a pastel color at all um 
In fact, this whole top row isn't. Uh, these yellows aren't either. Um, that said, in the vintage pastel set, I'm pretty sure there was a light yellow. Um, now this set is not going to be one that would be easy to mix. If you have some spare white somewhere though, you can definitely pastel a few of these out a little more. Because even Pool Party, while pretty, isn't very pastelish to me. Um, these colors here are all nice and pastel, so are those. So yeah, I mean, you could definitely lighten these up more. I think they were just trying to give you a palette that didn't have a ton of white in it, and I appreciate that. So I really like this set. It is very gorgeous. Um, these paints are adorable. All of their stuff is adorable. Can you see why I want full set syndrome with these? <laughs> so... That is my thoughts on the watercolor confections, pastel dreams. I absolutely love these. Um, I think these are going to be perfect in some of these new watercolor books I just got. Uh, yeah, I don't even care that right now at the time I'm filming this, it's winter. I'm going to use these and have some fun. <laughs> but thank you guys for hanging out while I swatched these. And until next time, take care. Bye now.